Hey everyone, welcome back to Biomedical Engineers TV. Today we're diving into an essential, but often overlooked, part of medical procedures. Operation Theater Beds. Whether you've seen them in a hospital or are just curious, these beds play a key role in surgical operations. But did you know there are different types of operation theater beds? So what is an operating table? An operating table is a table on which a patient lies during a surgical procedure, sometimes known as a surgical table or operation table. Operating tables are typically used within an operating room or surgical suite of a hospital, ambulatory surgery center, or other health or other healthcare facilities where surgeries are performed. Operating tables may be either stationary or mobile to move room to room. Operating tables are used in various types of procedures such as cardiothoracic, orthopedic, bariatric, robotic, urologic, and more. While there's not one perfect operating table, choosing the right operating table for each surgical procedure is important for patient safety and successful outcomes in the operating room. The decision to use a certain operating table over another depends on patient risk factors, positioning abilities, type of procedure, and length of procedure. Some features of good surgical tables include versatility, ease of use, reliability, generous weight and height restrictions, and accessory capabilities. The first is a standard OT bed. First up, we have the standard OT bed. This is the most common type used for a variety of surgeries. It has basic adjustments like height, backrest, and legrest, which are all controlled electronically or manually. It's a reliable all-rounder. The second is the electric OT bed. The electric OT bed, unlike manual beds, this one is fully electronic. Surgeons can adjust the height, backrest, and other sections with just the push of a button. This allows for quicker, more precise adjustments during surgeries, which is essential in critical procedures. The third is the hydraulic OT bed. We have the hydraulic OT bed. These beds use a hydraulic system to adjust the bed's height and position. Though it doesn't have as many electronic controls as the electric bed, it's highly durable and often used in more rugged settings or where electrical power might be unreliable. Fourth is Fowler's Position OT Bed. For surgeries where the patient needs to be positioned at a specific angle, we have the Fowler's Position OT Bed. This type allows for the head of the bed to be raised significantly, which is great for procedures involving the chest, head, or upper abdomen. Fifth is the Fracture OT Bed. For orthopedic surgeries, a Fracture OT Bed is commonly used. This bed is designed to accommodate patients with broken bones, especially when the patient needs to be positioned to support the fractured limbs. It can be divided into sections to immobilize limbs during surgery. Sixth is the Bariatric OT Bed. Bariatric OT Beds are specifically designed for patients who are overweight or obese. These beds are reinforced with stronger materials to support the patient's weight and provide a safe and stable platform for surgery. The seventh is a specialized OT bed for pediatric surgery. For pediatric surgeries, specialized OT beds are used. These beds are smaller and often come with additional safety features like side rails or specific head supports to ensure the child is secure and comfortable during surgery. As you can see, there's more to OT beds than just a flat surface. Surgeons need them to adjust in all sorts of ways to make sure the surgery is as safe and effective as possible. Whether it's a small manual adjustment or a fully electronic system, the type of bed used depends on the specific surgery and the patient's needs. Let's look into the components of an operation table. An operating table consists of a radio pack, adjustable tabletop and divided into sections for different body parts, a stable base and column for height adjustment and tilting, mechanisms for body control, electric or hydraulic, a control unit for the surgeon, and various accessories like headrests, armrests, and leg support to ensure patient comfort and stability during surgery. The patient's primary surface, typically divided into several sections, head, back, seat, and leg, is made of a radiolucent material, allowing x-rays to pass through, for imaging and can be easily adjusted to various positions. The foundation of the table, providing stability and housing the mechanisms that allow the table to move. Elevation and tilting. Mechanisms, electric or hydraulic, that raise or lower the table and tilt it in various directions to position the patient. 
Sectional adjustments. The ability to adjust individual sections of the tabletop for specific surgical positions. A hand or foot operated system that allows the surgical team to adjust the table's position. A wide range of additional components that attach to the table to support the patient, including arm boards, headrests, leg supports or stirrups, anesthesia screens, and instrument trays. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational content. And if you have any questions about Operation Theater beds or anything else in healthcare, drop them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.